Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming and plan with me for last year, the week of August 3rd through the 9th. So it's our first full week of August, finally getting into that. It's a really big week because it is the birthday week of my best friend Sage on Sunday and also that day my Aunt Romina and Grandma Cindy all have birthdays on Sunday. So really busy day. I think my original plan was to use some kind of birthday kit for Sage, whether it was like an actual birthday kit or like a sunflower kit. Definitely my original plan did not think about that until it was too late and I had already like pre-planned everything because um, when I go to choose a spread or a kit for a spread, I just go through the week chronologically and just see like what kind of things would be themes. And so the first day on Monday, I saw that I had watched Princess and the Frog, so I was like, okay, there we go, like that's the thing. And then by the time Sunday comes around the very last day, I like wasn't really thinking clearly because <laughs> I had already like gone through so much info. So I just glanced over Sage's birthday and like was a dum dum and did not think about it. So <laughs> she already knows. Um, I felt bad. I'm probably gonna do a sunflower spread at some other point. Um, and then for 2021, I'm definitely gonna do a birthday spread. I will make a note of it this time so I don't do something like that but I just think it's really funny because she used a princess and the frog themed kit for my birthday week and I'm using one for hers so on a level that's kind of hilarious and kind of like great minds think alike so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and plus I already pre-planned the whole thing and I need to be turning out videos really fast in order to catch up so here we go I'm actually gonna be doing a Franken spread for the first time in a while I have this really old Tiana's Place kit from School Friends Co. I don't remember if that's the actual name. Um, I don't have the whole kit. I have the full boxes. I have what I think are um, like the little things and everything from the mini kit page, I think. I have this page. This is from one of the newer like reformats, I think. And then I have the glitter headers and then I have the bottom washing the deco. So I kind of have a lot from it. So I am going to be piecing that together. I also have the bow deco pieces and the soul sheet of extras that I already took some stuff from. Um, so I am going to be bringing in date covers from Simply a Mess. Don't know where the date dots are from. I want to say like a Cricut Paper Co. kit. Um, and I'm going to be bringing in some other pieces as well. I'm not going to be doing really foil for this week. I'm going to be doing gold bougie. And then I have like three, I think five foiled scripts. And then that's gonna be pretty much it because like I it's a Franken spread so I don't want to like go all out with that the whole kind of thing but I'm excited to be using these full boxes finally so I'm gonna go ahead and put down the base out and then I will see you on the other side for the day by day let's get into it
Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the day by day. So on Monday, I actually got to sleep in that day. It looks like I had a day off, so I didn't mark too, too much. I slept in. I took advantage of having the space to use this enormous script from School of Prince Co. because all of her scripts are really big and I don't really have a ton of chances to use them otherwise. So I pulled in a gold foiled script, even though I wasn't using gold with this kit, just to have a chance to use it. Well, I guess I am using gold with this kit, never mind. Huh, I forgot that. Yeah, there is some gold. Not a ton, but there is. Sorry, I'm like, I filmed this video a while ago, so I'm not super familiar with this spread, but I'm gonna stare at it until I get what's going on. So, I also, um, Mark's sleeping in with a munchkin from Once More Love. I think that's supposed to be from the tired sheet, but <sighs> I was clearly tired enough to be sleeping in, so there you go. I washed my hair that day, script is from, I think, uh, Paper and Thread, and then that is an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that even though emojis don't have hair, which is really funny. And then I watched Legend of Korra, so I did use my gold scripts for that as well this week, because I'm getting to the point where I, I think I was getting close to finishing that show, so and I have a whole sheet of gold still, so I needed to use it up. Um, and then that is a character, I think, Oatmeal, the hamster from Some Little Things, watching the TV. It looks like I did work that day, I just totally missed it. Um, texted my friend Sage, and that found us from a little planner. I marked to work with an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I was a cashier that day. And then, of course, the first day of the week, I marked Princess and the Frog with a, another Lil from Some Little Things dressed up as Dr. Facilier. And on Tuesday, I slept forever. There's another sticker of Lil and my own script. And same for the next thing I marked, texting my best friend Aiden. Um with my own script as well, and that is another emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I FaceTimed my girl Sage that day. That sticker is from Whimsical Cat Studio. So far, that's the only sticker I've used to mark FaceTiming her. I'm trying to use up, like, all the big ones that, like, have both of us in it before I go to the ones that are just me. Um, I watched The Office. That's a new sticker that Sage actually bought for me from Paper Shire, so thank you for that. A uh, script from Lars to Apollo. Moral Legend of Korra with another Some Little Things sticker. Got an Amazon delivery. That um, stack of boxes is from simply a mess, I think. Unfortunately, I had to cut it. I was trying not to, but since it was on this little flap, I had to cut it. It looks so weird, but whatever. Um, it was also Dollar Tuesday. I think Letters to Apollo was the only order that I placed. Um, with, and I'm using a Letters to Apollo script to mark that, which is hilarious. And an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. with a $2 Tuesday sign. I also did a voiceover that day. That mouse is from a sampler that I just got. Super cute, doing a voiceover. And then I edited the rest of the plan with me that that voiceover was for. And that edit sticker is Snowball the Cat from um, Paper and Thread. So, getting a little bit ahead of myself, which is crazy. But going into Wednesday, I'm just going to go ahead and keep going because I'll know I'll catch up and then get behind. So going into Wednesday, I guess I shaved my legs. I marked that with two of my own stickers from way back when. This is one of the first things I drew. So that is like kind of a visualization of me shaving my legs, which is hilarious. But like yay for accuracy, I guess, in my own planner. Um, and then I just used... Um, the script that came on the same shaving sheet, which is still up as a digital in my shop and may also be in my physical shop as well. And I got groceries that day. Um, I'm trying to see if I went into work. It doesn't look like it. So I actually must have hiked down to the grocery store and then hiked back up. So that's fun. I try not to do that because I get groceries pretty much every day at work, but I guess I needed something that I forgot to get the day before. So I made a hike. And then I also made a smoothie when I got back. And that girl's from Pumpkin Paper Co. I used a flag because I knew I had a lot of large smoothie stickers that would not have fit in smaller spaces. And I had extra space on that flag underneath the smoothie script. So I later, or I guess right now, I put in some balloons from the kit as well, just as an icon. I could have used them with the birthday day, but I wanted to use like more special stickers for that. Um, so I just threw them in here for no good reason. 
Um, I watched The Office, and that sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Now I have two office sheets to choose from, which is great. So I watched it twice that week. I think I was just catching up, because usually I do it once a week for the Office Ladies Rewatch podcast. And more Legend of Korra, that TV is from Little's Planner. I also organized my sticker binders that day, of which I have way too many. You're going to see them all in the current series that I'm working on, which is just my sticker kit collection. Um, well, you're going to see almost all of them. Eventually, you'll see the rest with my character stickers, but I do want to get a lot more before I do that series. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have enough room to fit all of these stickers that I wanted. The organized script is a little bit too big. I'm using this organized supplies sticker. I don't remember what character or shop that is, but that's what it is. And then I texted Sage again. That phone is from, I think, Bubba Bear Studios. And then I binged YouTube, and that girl is from Shine Sticker Studio. I also cooked chicken that evening, probably in the Instant Pot, because I was going through a phase last year where I would use it to cook meat. And this year I got lazy and I switched to just frozen meatballs and that is my main source of protein. <laughs> well, not really, because I eat a lot of brown rice and oatmeal too and I get protein from that and like peanut butter. But like in terms of meat, meatballs is like my default because it's just so easy and they're so tasty. Um, but yeah, that girl is from Papershire. I had a salad as well for dinner that evening. I was in a phase of eating salads for dinner which honestly sounds really good, but they take a lot of work. I'm not into that much, like, prep. <laughs> script is from Planet Hannah, and the salad sticker is from Once More With Love. And then I filmed a haul, and that is Dottie the Sugar Bug. I just realized I used that sticker for, um, I guess by the time you see this, it will have been two videos ago, two spreads ago. So I've I've been really loving that sticker lately, but it's it's very useful. And then I had a big bagel that evening as well. A script from Planet Hannah, a script from Benny Creations. This is what happens when I film spreads out of order. Like, I get way befuddled, so chronology is really not a thing during these few spreads in a row. Well, this, will, this will be the latest one, I think. But the last two, yeah, it's all a mess. Like, the one that you'll see before this, I haven't even filmed yet. I'm, like, actually about to film them if I have time. Um, so Thursday, I worked, I will occasionally mark this in a half box, just because I have a lot of really big work stickers, um, so if I have room, I'll try to make that the big one, and that really pretty work script is from Letters to Apollo, the girl is from Rooms of a Cat Studio, and I had a mocha that morning as well, it's my own script, and the icon is from the kit, and it was a great day, that is also my own script, um, and... There's a little munchkin from Once More With Love as well. I think that was also from the kit. I was just trying to use it. And I was really tired that day. So there's a fox and cactus cat for that. And then I read Angels and Demons, which was the book I was reading at the time from the Robert Langdon series. You may know The Lost Symbol. Or I actually know The Da Vinci Code is the one that's going to be the most familiar to you. But they're all part of the same series, so I wanted to finally read the last two books for the first time. So I just started from the beginning with Angels and Demons, and that emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I used another whimsical cat studio girl uh, to mark on grocery shopping that day before I left work. Sorry if you can hear a dog whining. I now live in a house where my roommates have a dog, so that's fun. I've never lived in a house where a dog like actually barks, because when I lived with my parents, they had two dogs at different times, and neither of them, like, really barked at all, so it was great, but now this dog that I live with barks whenever somebody comes to the door, so whenever my boyfriend comes over, or my boyfriend and his daughter, it's always, like, a huge affair, and the whole house knows, and it's, like, great, this is, I don't like attention, so this is great, um, so back to Thursday, Anastasia ate dinner that day, I'm using a flag, so I can use a bigger sticker from the Pumpkin Paper Cow, that's my custom Tara, again, and then I marked Payday as well. The icon is also from the kit, same with the Trash Day icon, like I said, I was just trying to use those icons. And then I had a nap as well. I love these nap stickers, 
um, from the pillow time sheet from Once More With Love. I feel like everybody is just like using a ton of these now. These are like such useful stickers. They're a perfect size. They come in colors that match like all the spreads. Like they're so cute. I always need more nap stickers, but like I might just get a ton of sheets of this one because <laughs> it's such a great sticker. Um, I also had wine that evening, and that is Star the Unicorn from Shine Sticker Studio sitting in a glass of wine with a glass of wine in her hand, which is really funny. And then I watched Anchorman that evening. I didn't really have any Anchorman specific stickers, so I just used a movie ticket from Paper Shire that I had to cut in two places, which looks so weird, but that's what it is. Anchorman is really funny. I think there's like a sequel that I watched at some point, but I think the first one is better. So Friday, I worked again as a bookkeeper. So I don't know if I was a bookkeeper, but I had the bookkeeper shift. Like, I wasn't really good at differentiating uh, whether I was a bookkeeper or a cashier when I was writing in my daily planner at this time. So I could have been 6 to 3 as a cashier, but usually when I'm 6 to 3, I'm bookkeeper, so I don't know. I just marked it as bookkeeper anyway, because, like, who cares? Um, but that much again, it's from It's Worth Love to mark that. Had a mocha again. Um, these next two stickers are from Some Little Things, and I was really tired that day, because, again, I had the 6 to 3 shift. Um, and then I texted my friends, that's my own script, that's usually, like, Sage and Aiden, and maybe Robert, like, some combination of those people, and that is an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think who's supposed to be, like, FaceTiming, but I'm just using that to be texting and, like, smiling at your phone, and then, um, I read more of my book, Angels and Demons, that scribbler is from School of Prince Co., um, and here's another case of when I used a script in gold just to use it because otherwise I would have used way more gold scripts but I knew I had a gold in my feelings script and I do not often mark in my feelings so I knew that since I had this I needed to use it so um yeah I don't know what I was my feelings about this was a year ago so who knows but um yeah I must have been down about something and that little munchkin in a bear onesie is from Once More Love. Got groceries that day at work. Let girls from Simply a Mess, but you can find the clipper in other shops as well. And I had a long nap that day, so I had to cut my script in half again so I could use this kitty from Whimsical Cat Studio. I forgot that that's another shop that has cat stickers. Oh, I love cat character stickers so much. Um, and then I ordered stickers as well. Um, I marked that it was from Etsy, but I don't know for sure if it was from Etsy. I have no idea. Since I stopped writing what specific shops I ordered from, who knows? But that order of stickers script is my own. And then Saturday, I worked, um, I'm marking that I worked as a bookkeeper again with this Chip the Chihuahua from Paper and Thread. Um, or I guess it was paper. I forgot that it was in a previous video that I switched to calling it that. Like I said, I'm doing this like we had a border. Um, I think so, yeah. So, so it was paper. And then I was very tired that day again. I used another work label, and I wasn't that great at covering up the work part of it. But there it is. So that's Munchkin from It's Mirth Love. I texted Sage again. That phone is from Fox and Cactus. And then I had another asthma attack. And that inhaler is from the Coffee Monsters Co. I need more of those, really. Um, I'm hoping that Mark will do some inhaler stickers from Once More Love, because, like, those two shops, they have all the stickers. They have everything. I read more of my book. The script is from Valerie's Papery, and the, uh, Wonton, <laughs> reading a book is from Wonton and a Million. I had another long nap. That's another Chip the Chihuahua from that Sweet of His Paper, and then I edited my haul. That sticker is from The Coffee Monsters Co., and I got groceries. Everything was, like, out of order this day because of just, like, where I put things. Like, I had to put the order based on, like, how big the scripts were. So that's another thing I'm, like, hoping to avoid by making my own scripts. But, um, I got groceries before I left work that day. And that is an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. for that. So Sunday was the day of Sage's birth. Her birthday. How old was she last year? She was 19 last year, so this year coming up is going to be the big two zero. Exciting. 
So that is my quote-unquote custom sticker of her that I made from the Whimsical Cat Studio character creator. <laughs> I put her in like super casual clothes because that's like way more sage. Like I'm a fancy clothes kind of gal. She's like a casual clothes kind of gal, so that's her. <laughs> um, and yeah, the balloons I think look like they're from Creating Co., but I don't even know. I just chose them because they were green. There's a lot of green in this spread. And then also on that day, my grandma Cindy and my aunt Romina had birthdays, so I gave them the fancy label instead of the half box, because priorities. Uh, but there's a little celebrating a munchkin face. Or is it an emoji face? Lord knows. I think it's an emoji. Um, and then I worked as a bookkeeper again, and that is Monty the Bat from Sweet Ava's Paper. I love that little bat character. And then I had a, another long nap when I got home. There is that Mochi the cat again who is not sleeping, just peeking, but I'm pretending she's sleeping in a bed. <laughs> so I did more reading. I got to use my orange book sticker from paper, or Sweet Eva's paper, because there's orange in the spread and that is not common. I don't know. I'm a much bigger fan of orange in my kits than in real life. I hate the color orange. It's my least favorite color, but... In kits, like, bring it on. I am totally fine with it. Give me a tons of fall kits with orange. Like, I'm all about it. <laughs> it's so funny. So I also got groceries that day at work again. I just have a ton of grocery stickers, so that's why I'm marking it, even though it's pretty much every time I work, I get groceries. But I'm just that kind of person. I'm going to mark the same thing, even when I do the same thing every day, and it gets so boring. It's just what I'm going to do. Um, can't leave anything out, which is why I use so many darn extenders. So... Yeah, groceries, and then I uploaded a haul that day as well. The laptop is from Whimsical Cat Studio. The script is from Letters to Apollo. So I did an Instagram post for that haul. The script is my own. And then that emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. with the Instagram icon. I did some drawing on my iPad. I don't remember what I drew, but I drew something. And then I answered comments and messages on YouTube and Instagram. And I had allergies that day, so there's a little sneezing girl from Fox and Cactus. And then I did laundry as well. Uh, icon is from the kit. And then I had chocolate Russians and watched Evan Almighty, because I was on a Steve Carell kick, clearly. Um, the drink is from Hey Soul Sticker. That's what I used to mark chocolate Russians, even though I think it's supposed to be a different type of drink. I think it's like an old-fashioned, whatever that is, um, and then for Evan Almighty, I just used this zebra, I feel like that's a pumpkin paper co zebra, just because, you know, Evan Almighty, it's a story about the Ark, and, you know, all the animals that were on the Ark, so, just decided that would be a great time to use up a zebra, because when else am I going to use a zebra, like, I have plenty of zoo stickers, I'm not going to use it for going to the zoo, but yeah, so that finishes off that, so now I'm just going to try to fit in all the deco, the deco's a little bit bigger, harder to work with, Got to bring in all the bows, though, so that's real pretty. Um, I didn't do any, like, foil deco at the top because I wasn't going crazy foil for this spread um, like I usually do. But I still think it looks good. I still think I was able to fill the space. I even had to cut some of the deco, which I rarely do because I hate doing that. But I just, like, I had to use it. I wasn't going to just throw it into the bottom washi. Um, but, yeah, I think it looks really good. I also added another happy birthday sage in the side part um, with the celebrating emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co., just to give her a little extra love and the extra full box I pulled in is just a planes full box because her boyfriend Brennan is a pilot I don't know if I mentioned that in the intro or not but that's what that is about and she loves like plain stickers for that so there you go girl that's for both of y'all and I love this bottom washi I decided last minute to pull in the cupcake overlays which are from the rose colored days birthday themed washi tape sub box I just wanted, like, a little bit more gold foil, and so I also pulled in the, like, streamers, um, header overlays from that same sub box, so those are also on all of the glitter headers, just a little bit more gold in, and make it not look so weird that I did two gold scripts as well, so, yeah, I think it's turned out pretty good, actually, like, you can't hardly tell that this was, like, a bunch of leftovers cobbled together, because I had a lot, like, in the color scheme of this kit that was, like, from this kit, so, like, I think it looks pretty cohesive. Like, I'm pleased with it. Oh, yeah, that strip that I pulled in, I think I said it was leftover from another kit, the 15 millimeter strip. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, my leftover spreads, my Franken spreads, like, they never look too bad. Like, I hate to shoot my own horn, but, like, I'm pretty proud of, like, my color matching and everything. 
I mean, I've had some bad spreads with that, certainly in the past, as Sage will know, but, um, like, this one I'm really proud of, so next year I'm gonna do one specifically for you, Sage, like, I will, I swear, but I love the way this one looks, so not bad at all, so, um, hopefully by the time I do another voiceover, I won't be sick and my voice won't sound like this, but yeah, that's, that's what this stuffy nose thing is about, so. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.